Hello, I'm Carolyn Hooker and welcome to this programme, which will help you prepare an entry for the National Training Awards. We know from experience, because our entrants tell us, that this can be a very valuable exercise all by itself. I'm going to talk you through the process of preparing your entry and give you hints and tips on what the judges are looking for. You'll also get the opportunity to learn about past NTA entrants, as well as hearing from previous winners on why they were successful and how they have benefited from entering and winning. The National Training Awards recognise and celebrate investors in people accredited organisations that have delivered outstanding benefits by directly linking the training needs of their people to their business needs. Being presented with a National Training Award offers all organisations public recognition for their exceptional training. It's a chance to be named the best of the best on both a regional and a national level. The benefits of entering the National Training Awards, other than winning of course, can be very rewarding. For example, we have a comprehensive judging process based on the Investors in People framework and we provide all entrants with feedback reports which can be used to inform and enhance approaches to training and development. The rigorous judging process used at the National Training Awards gives an opportunity for organisations to benchmark themselves firstly against their peers but also against national standards. Winning a National Training Award can deliver many tangible benefits which can directly impact on the operations of your organisation. Two thirds of recent winners have told us that there has been an increase in people's morale as a result of winning a National Training Award. And one in three said that their organisations have become more efficient as a result of winning, whilst one in five say they have seen an increase in the number or value of contracts secured. The same number have found it easier to recruit the best people since winning their award. I think one of the NTA officials called um, it infectious. Wix was infectious, our enthusiasm for training that we'd, we'd completed and actually our buzz around actually putting our entrance in. Everybody really loved the fact that we were actually even up for an award, never mind winning it. So um, it was a great process, it got everybody together again and it sort of really showed that we, uh, we have an infectious spirit in the, in the business. One of the things that the application and the award does for you is it makes you sort of quantify the effect. So I've always had a gut feeling that it was right to train staff and train and train and continue to train. But in order to, to, to put in the application and to go forward for the award, you have to actually quantify the benefits to our consumer who are our autistic children. And so that was extremely helpful. What we found was the rigour of the judging process made us help to really hone in on the benefits that our programme had given. It was generally accepted beforehand that, you know, yes, it gave some benefits, but no one was quite able to state what it was. This process helped us to really hone in on specifically, right, so if we were to measure it financially, here are the things it's given, and then other softer measures, here's what it's given us. The National Training Awards have highlighted and celebrated organisations who have offered exceptional training. This training has led to business success in terms of profitability and productivity and overall general success of the organisation, but also success of the individuals who are working within that organisation. The awards are open to all small, medium, large and macro-sized employers working with investors in people. There is one exception though, as small employers, those with up to 49 employees, are not required to be accredited or working with investors in people to enter. Medium, large and macro-sized employers must be investors in people accredited within the last three years or currently working with investors in people to be able to enter these awards. If you worked alongside a partner who was involved in the design and the delivery of the training, we will acknowledge this contribution even though there isn't a specific partnership category. This type of entry, however, must be submitted by the client organisation whose people have been trained and the organisation must also hold or be working towards an Investors in People accreditation. Entries that are resubmissions will only be accepted from 2011 entrants to ensure continuity 
and are also invited from the previous year's National Training Awards winners, who wish to compete for a higher award. Please note that winners of the year cannot resubmit the same entry within two years. The NTA Learning Framework model incorporates key elements of the Investors in People framework and offers organisations a powerful evaluation tool. Consider this model when completing your entry as it relates directly to the questions in the online entry form and the criteria by which your entry will be judged. Many past entrants have incorporated the framework into their longer term evaluation strategies as they have found it so useful. So what are the judges looking for? Judges want to see clear links between the learning and the benefits to the organisation. Focus on a specific learning and development initiative which shows a clear and positive impact on the organisation. The best entries are those which avoid jargon and provide the key facts in an accessible and inspirational way. Clear organisational benefits need to be measured and presented. Give evidence to support the achievements you have included in your entry. What I would say to people entering the national, considering entering the National Training Awards is that it, what it helps to do is to really focus on um, what, why was training put into place in the first place, how was it delivered and what was special about that, and then what benefits has it brought, and in particular the last point, because what benefits it brings and being very clear about those is what's important. To anybody thinking of putting together a National Training Awards, I'd say think really carefully about what the impact of the training is. Uh, that's the big challenge with these awards, actually demonstrating that what you deliver isn't just excellent, but it makes a real difference. Before submitting your entry, consider the following points. Ask yourself, are the key facts presented in an accessible and inspirational way? And remember, no jargon, please. Have you highlighted and proved to the judges the real benefits of the training? Consider using abbreviated formats such as tables, bullet points and graphs and make sure that you don't go over the word count. Show your entry to colleagues for feedback. Please also submit proof that you are accredited or working with investors in people, so include a copy of a certificate or a letter from your centre. Once you've completed your entry and submitted it online by the closing date, it'll go through the following process. First, our admin team will go through the entry to ensure that you've completed all the necessary sections and submitted the relevant evidence. Your entry will then be assessed by a team of qualified assessors and, if successful, will then be reviewed by our judging panel. If you're successful at this stage, the judges will arrange an on-site visit to take a look at the training, meet trainees and see for themselves the benefits that this training has had on your organisation. After a second judging panel, finalists will be invited to a regional award ceremony where you could be awarded a National Training Award. National Training Award winner entries from across the 13 local areas will be submitted to the NTA National Judging Panel. Here, an overall national winner for each of the four entry categories will be chosen. Finalists will be invited to the National Award Celebration, where the winners will be announced. Please note that should you be unsuccessful at any point during the judging process, your entry will receive detailed feedback from our judges and assessors. Good luck. The Apprenticeship Awards are a celebration of everyone involved in apprenticeships across England. They're a chance to highlight the many success stories and the benefits of apprenticeships. These awards are open to all organisations employing apprentices and to the apprentices themselves. Both these and the National Training Awards launch and close for entry at the same time. For the Apprenticeship Awards, you can enter into one of three award categories the Employer of the Year, the Apprentice of the Year, or the Apprenticeship Champion category. Please note that to enter this category, you should have already completed your apprenticeship. To help ensure that you have the best entry, be sure to use our detailed entry guidance. This can be found online at apprenticeships.org.uk forward slash awards.
You can find out more or apply online by visiting our website or for further help and information, why not call the helpline? Thank you for listening and good luck.